All right. I wanted to talk about bears because bears are technically, at least according to this article, classified as omnivores. And this may surprise some people, but bears eat 70 to 80 percent of their diet as plants. <laughs> I've always thought of a bear as more carnivorous. I mean, they look more carnivorous than a human, right? They have sharper teeth and, um, I mean, claws and stuff like that. Like, they look more carnivorous than us. And, um, but they are omnivores, and I do agree that they're omnivores. I mean, 70 to 80% of their diet is plants. And people say, well, humans can eat more meat than that and be okay. Um, maybe. So I guess people think that we're more, or carnivores think that we're more carnivorous than a bear. Um, but anyway, people who think we are omnivores and think we should be eating more meat than, you know, kind of what I've discussed in my videos. I want to talk about what happens to a bear when they eat more meat than this or more saturated fat anyway, than this 70 to 80%. Now remember, bears tend to eat lean, lean meats like fish. Sometimes here it says they'll eat elk or gophers, okay, at certain types of times of the year. And then a good chunk of the year, they're hibernating, right? Anyway, let's talk about how much um, what happens to a bear when they eat too much saturated fat? So here is an article, and don't be misled by the title, because let's dig into the article a little bit more. Bears not bothered by diet high in saturated fats, okay? Grizzlies show no clinical signs of disease following short-term consumption of saturated fats, but scientists question long-term health. Short term. So they're they're wondering if these bears are being affected by human food because naturally they're used to eating um, wild game and fish. Right. And sometimes when they live in parks, such as in the Canadian wilderness here, they end up eating human food, which is full of saturated fat, unlike their natural diet. And what they found was. So first of all, let's let's go over what they did. So. They gave some adult bears two diets. One was high in pufas with oats and salmon, and the other was high in saturated fats using beef and cheese, okay? And then they were fed from May to the end of October and then hibernated over the winter. So the bears fed the high in saturated fat diet got a relatively clean bill of health, it says. Their cholesterol and insulin levels were the same as the bears that ate a diet uh, high in healthy fats healthy being the PUFAs, they're saying. But evidence of mild inflammation and heart strain in the bears fed the diet high in saturated fat raises questions about the health of bears in the wild that feed on human refuse their entire lives. Um, so grizzly bears are relatively resistant to developing severe metabolic imbalances or overt clinical disease due to high saturated fat it's important to note that the study occurred only over one single feeding period. So one season, so like one year, and then they fasted for, for a good chunk of it. The heart inflammation abnormalities detected could manifest into objective symptoms of disease. For example, insulin resistance, high cholesterol, or chronic hypertension in bears relying heavily on human refuse or bears in captive facilities. So... I guess the important part to note here is, sure, they had okay markers, like whatever. I don't know what a bear's cholesterol is <laughs> normally and what the like baseline is, but they showed inflammation after one season of feeding plus a prolonged fast. They still showed this inflammation. Um, and so I guess my question is, those who are omnivorous who eat a good chunk of their calories from fat or from saturated fat, do you think you're more carnivorous than a bear? <laughs> and what do you think is going on in your body? Because I don't know, personally, I don't think I'm more carnivorous than a bear. <laughs> I just don't think that. I don't think the human body can handle 
um, much more saturated fat than a, a bear can. And bears eat 70 to 80% plants in their diet, which is surprising to me. I really thought they ate much more than that. So I guess on this search for the ideal amount of animal foods in the human diet, which I think there should be some, but I'm not convinced it's that much. I don't think I'm any more carnivorous than a bear. That's just how I feel. <laughs> what are your thoughts? Leave them below.